Um, but Julianne, you are up if you can um, hear me and, and <laughs> grab control of the screen. <sighs> and we'll see where we can get, if we can uh, finish this thing on time. There you go. It looks like we're getting there. All right. Thank you all for your patience. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you and we can see your screen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> go for it. Woo! All right. Thank you so much for your patience with me and everything. Um, so I can't see the chat right now because I'm just on my, my, my laptop. So I will just answer questions after the fact or feel free to interject. Yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll feed them to you if you need them. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So today I'm talking about um, helping students succeed with midterm grades. Um, not you see using my trackpad either apparently why okay um so we've talked to students over the years at our university um 32 percent of our students say that providing grades is the most important thing that instructors can do to help them succeed um, this is a theme that we hear over and over and over again and it really kind of came to a head um, this past spring where students from our student government association actually went to the academic senate and asked them to do something about grading, essentially asked faculty to do something about grading. Um, and so a couple of you know, ideas were tossed around, change, a few changes were made, um, but primarily the what we heard from that, just from students is like, what can we do on our end to improve the grading experience for instructors and then also students' visibility into their grades. So the primary takeaway that we took from that um, academic setup meeting with those students was that um, by default, like our overall course grade is set to not be displayed to students so we requested the permission to kind of just change that setting and we were able to change that setting and um, now students now instructors have to opt out um, in terms of displaying their overall course grade um, so that's been hugely successful with our students they really like that feature we also did a number of other things to improve the, the instructor experience with um uh, a quick entry feature where instructors can grade um, sort of outside that gradebook table and uh, put all their grades on a page and all their comments on a page and then press save. It just speeds things up a little bit more and there's a bulk um, commenting feature as well in that. We also built a gradebook summary widget for the home page where similar to like the announcement synoptic or the calendar synoptic it pulls in all their grades for all their classes into one widget. Um, so that's been really uh, a great feature for students. We've definitely been asking them about it and they've been loving it. So that is fantastic. And I'm going to show you that widget in a minute um, because the feature that we're talking about today has to do with that. But this, this email went out to our instructors earlier this semester uh, about midterm grades provi providing important performance information for students and can be a wake-up call to get them to focus. And studies back this up. We found a couple of studies that showed that students knowing their midterm grades can actually help them improve. <laughs> Maybe, maybe just a little bit, but it can help some. Um, and so this is really important to our um, student success and persistence. And because we heard that feedback from the provost office, we decided to build a midterm grade feature within the gradebook tool. So what you're seeing here is that gradebook summary widget that I mentioned earlier. And you can see there's a midterm grade column and there's a GIF, kind of animated GIF happening where um, you can see, actually, this is a real student. I just pulled this screenshot today. This real student, uh, for at least one of her courses, was dramatically able to improve their grades so far, at least. The instructor did exactly what we wanted, left a comment saying, if you do this this assignment, you can improve their, your grade. And so this student went from an F to, I think it was a C minus or C plus maybe. And so they this is a benchmark for them to compare to for the rest of the semester to say, like, look how much I'm improving. So it's a really nice feature for them to um, look back on their grades and, and keep up the keep up their progress for the rest of the semester. From the instructor view in the grade book, um, there's a new column that's called midterm grade and it's empty at first. Um, but then when you click on the little drop down arrow, it says lock in midterm grades. And if you were to click on that, it takes you to a modal window where it pulls up a list of your students and it will pull in the current grade into that midterm grade column that you're seeing there. And then you have the opportunity to override it at this point. So for in this stupid example with Boba Fett, I changed him from a D to a C minus um, because maybe he did great participation in class and I really wanna motivate him to keep up the good work. Um, so I've also noted to the instructor, as in the instructor, I said, please know I'm always available to chat or discuss anything that's been confusing to you, opening the door to the student to start those conversations because sometimes it might need that, they might need that extra prod um, to, to, to actually come and ask for help. Similarly, for the students who are doing well, um, you can say that this grade represents 45% of the grades so far for the course. We have instructors actually telling them this, telling this to their students, just to keep up the good work. Don't, don't, 
don't fall off the course now. Keep going. You're doing great because um, you have 55% of your course left to do. <laughs> and then when you're finished entering all your grades and you're finished putting in all your comments, you can check the box that says, I'm ready for my students to see their grades. And then you press save and notify students. And that sends them an email saying that their midterm grades available. And they can see it within, our, within Sakai and on the gradebook summary widget. And in this little animated GIF, um, GIF, not GIF, <laughs> you can see that similar to what we're seeing in that student view, the, the midterm grade here is locked in. It's not changing as I'm updating the grades for the rest of the semester. So it's a benchmark for both the instructor and for the students. So hopefully the students are improving um, compared, you know, their current course grade compared to their midterm grade. Uh, but ultimately, it's a good source of comparison between the two points in time. So the result of this was that uh, the feature was used in 318 sites. It, it might have gone up a little bit since then, but it was primarily used in first and second year courses, which we expected because um, second year students were also required to have midterm grades this, this semester. That's a temporary measure that they're taking. Um, these are some of the quotes we received from instructors about this new feature. Uh, we also did talk to a few students who said, Unfortunately, we talked to mostly first year students and it was kind of like right at midterm. And so a few students had it and they really loved it, but we didn't have a ton of feedback from students. So maybe by next semester, we'll um, have a little bit more feedback from students on it. So potential improvements that we might make, um, maybe we'll make. <laughs> uh, we might disable the required email notification to students. One instructor said she was grading over fall break and she didn't want students to <laughs> know that she'd done the midterm grades. Um, because you, you do have to check that box and it will send that email no matter what. So maybe disabling that or making that an option. Uh, we'd like to give the students ability to customize our gradebook widget so that um, they can hide courses that they don't want to see anymore. Uh, we might consider the ability to hide the midterm grade column. The instructors can hide it from their own view, but they can't hide it altogether. There's some good use cases for why you might want to do that. Uh, it might be nice to have some bulk commenting feature. So instead of going student by student down that midterm grade um, modal, applying one comment kind of across the board to a specific subset of students would be a good way to save some time. Um, we do have some sections that have different grading scales. So how do we apply midterm grades? Um, uh, when we, we're doing an export, sorry, this is a slightly different feature, but there's an, ex an export as well. And how can we like taking into account both those grading scales in the export that we can then upload into our ERP, our registrar uh, system of record. And same thing for the individual student grades, like sometimes a student might do a pass fail on a course, so they have a different grading scale. And then one thing that we would, we're really looking into doing next semester is like a magic button <laughs> from Sakai that you just press the button and it automatically sends the grades to the registrar system. So we're looking into that, but hopefully we'll see what happens. No promises on where we're gonna go with that. So I will stop and ask, ask for questions now. So I'm sure one of the questions is going to have to do with um, when will we see these things in Sakai? Uh, so it's something that we've uh, talked about. Um, I know that Sakai is kind of moving away from the overview tool. I think they're, they're, I know the dashboard tool is being used more often, so it might be that when we migrate ourselves over to dashboard it might be something that could be shared then but something we've definitely talked about okay thank you other questions for julianne okay well it, it is it is time and i i do apologize for all the technical glitches we had and thank you folks i mean you know adrian thanks for pitching in julianne thanks for making it in at the very end dave uh, thanks for pinch hitting like crazy uh, Josh and Wilma, thanks for being being a part of this. Uh, we really we really appreciate all this. Um, it, it worked out. We're a community that makes this work, and so you know we got a lot of good information. And it wasn't quite in the order we thought it would be, but it's fine. So with that, that's the end of our third round of lightning talks. And our next one, our next session, uh, Wilma, I'm suddenly looking here saying I want to make sure. Yeah, that I've got this it's right. prizes. Uh, prizes. Day one yes. wrap up and prizes. So yes. if you want to learn uh, what the prize winners get and who they are, um, you'll join us in about 10 minutes, actually eight minutes. Um, it <laughs> starts at 320 um, in the day one prizes and wrap up room. That was Wilma's subtle way of saying you went over two minutes, Ramsey. You're fired. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> I'm a monster. Okay. <laughs> 
Thank and you, everybody. Not to be missed is that, that I think all that monster talk, you know, yeah. dredged uh, uh, a few uh, gremlins uh, uh, up. So we better stop with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody.